Mr. Hollinsley, James Hollinsley, you're the head teacher here at Longwood Primary Academy. Your meditation pods, now they have attracted a bit of publicity, but can you take us back to the beginning? Why did you get these installed here at Longwood? Uh, the initial reason was uh, for staff wellbeing. I saw a tweet on uh, the local Twitter from someone who was giving away a meditation pod for use in a school. And uh, the day before, I was concerned about many staff and their well-being for reasons outside of school. And so I contacted them and said that this was exactly the kind of thing that our staff would need here. Consequently from that, when we met up, we were discussing how it was used and we very quickly found out that our children could benefit from that as well. And so we have a host of uh, different kind of like toolkits in terms of uh, approaches for well-being. So therefore, we thought that this was another one uh, that can raise resilience in children. And how's it gone down? Uh, the children love it. It's very kind of, as you see, it's quite, um, quite, quite nice to look at. Um, but uh, it, it's gone down well with the staff. They were quite um, reluctant at first and wondering what it was going to be like. But they, they've really enjoyed that. And the children that we've chosen to use the meditation pod over the next four months on a research project are certainly saying already that they found it enjoyable and beneficial in terms of having time to themselves to think about how they're feeling. Because you have a general, not only here in Longwood, but amongst all the, the uh, Net Academy schools, the five in Harlow, is that, do you not have a sort of a, an ethos regarding, it's about resilience, isn't it? It is, so in, within, within Net Academies, we have three main strands. The first is academic success. We focus a lot on you know, great teaching and, uh, and learning. The second is around physical development, so around you know, good PE sessions and, and understanding um, how that kind of helps them, and also positive well-being. And part of that, across all of our academies, um, we have the MBS toolkit, which is 26 different approaches to mental health, and um, we very much focus on that as well. How in the long term will you gauge whether this is a success or a failure? Okay, so we've got a four month research project. We're looking into the results from questionnaires that are uh, evidence based through research. And we're gonna be having feedback from staff and also children as to how they felt before and after the meditation se uh, sessions and how they feel that that's developed them over time. So if we come back, say, in six months' time, we'll have another another. In six interview. months' time, there will be either a pod here, not this one, but a similar one, um, or here or another location, or there won't be one because we found that it, it wasn't working. But I'm, I'm sure from the feedback already, it, it's, it's been quite successful.